Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this video I'm going to share five quick Photoshop brush tool tips. So first of all, if you're in Photoshop and you want to select your brush tool, you could just press the B button on your keyboard, but let's not really count that as a tip. So let's say you have your foreground and background color selected to whatever you want. You can always switch easily between them when painting by pressing X on your keyboard. So every time I press X, it'll switch between my foreground and background color, making for easier workflow. Also, if you just want to switch your foreground and background color back to black and white, you can just press D and it'll set your foreground to black and your background to white. So D always defaults your colors instead of always clicking this arrow. You can also click this button right here. Now here's more of a fix than a tip. If you ever notice that your brush has turned into a crosshair, no matter how big or large you have it, make sure you don't have the caps lock key turned on because the caps lock key is the shortcut to set your brush to be just a crosshair. So that's a quick tip if you're wondering why your brush has disappeared. But speaking of cursors, if you actually go into the Photoshop preferences menu and select cursors, you could switch between different cursors for your painting brush between normal, precise, or full size. And one tip I like to use is just have the crosshair showing in the middle all the time, even with the normal brush tip. So that's another one there. Now, when it comes to painting, you could always go into the brush menu and adjust the size and the hardness manually. But one really useful tip is the bracket keys on the keyboard will actually increment your brush by I believe five or 10% up or down. Now if you hold shift and use the bracket keys, you'll see that the brush hardness will increase or decrease. Aside from changing the size and the hardness of your brush, you can always go into the window brush panel and there's a world of options for you to adjust like spacing, scattering, and all different things that we'll save for another tutorial. Also in the brushes menu, Photoshop does come with a bunch of presets if you open up this cog wheel with some different type of brushes for different occasions. So if you never explored those, it might be interesting to play around with what Photoshop has to offer already and combine that with the brush window to create your own unique desired brush. Lastly, one quick tip is if you head to the brush menu while you have the tool selected, this little airbrush icon here allows you to turn on airbrushing, which can be a really useful tool. This means that the longer I click and hold, the more times the brush keeps getting applied, like an airbrush. So here's a stroke with an airbrush versus the brush turned off. It doesn't matter how long I hold it, it won't do that unless I click over and over. So that's just a cool tool to have. Hopefully this shows you all the different tips and tricks when it comes to working with the brush tool and you can explore the brush window further so that you can master all of the adjustability that Photoshop has to offer. If you guys did enjoy this video, check out my other quick tip series and definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.